Good evening, survivors, and welcome back to Stranded Deep. We are picking up just a bit after where we left off in the last episode, guys. And check out my arm. It looks almost good enough to chew on, doesn't it? No more pussy pustules. No more gashes or blood. I'm feeling pretty good. My, my, my vitals aren't perfect right now because I'm a, a bit hungry and a bit thirsty. But at least I'm not poisoned. Oh, thank you, BB. At least I'm not poisoned anymore. Nor am I uh, gashed and slashed after having been bit by Jaworski the Great. So, let's get started. What are we going to do today, guys? Uh, first, let's just check everything here. It's 6 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, evening. Sun has just gone down. It's the 27th of January. 25 days survive, 73 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 20-ish degrees Celsius. And I'm on Island 2C. So, home is that way. And I just came across with Reg Jr. He's right over there. We're going to go say hi in a moment. And I wanted to gather up some of these supplies. In fact, I even found another wreck here, guys. On the way over, Harriet was out there. And I went to say hi, and there was another wreck. A different wreck right under her. So that was pretty cool stuff. She does. She loves it here. I think she lives between our home island over that way and 2C. This is like her, this is her domain. Uh, uh, her turf. Oh, check out the moths. Oh, that's awesome. I've never, I don't think I've seen that before. That is so great. Yeah, and here's a quick tip. If you're a camper, um, or if you are planning on going camping, if you have a lantern and it's at night, don't put it down on your your picnic table. Or if you do, at least make sure that you close up all your, your Doritos bags and so forth, because the moss will literally... You'll have moss everywhere. Trust me, my kids always leave the Dorito bags open. We eat, we eat lots of moths. All right, so anyway, check it out. So, Reg Jr.'s out of gas. So, now that I have a gauge of how much gas one tank comes with, because I think when you first build this, this motor, it comes pre-filled. It's very convenient like that. Um, and I, I'm now out of gas. You can hear it. I can't start it, so I have to put some more gas in. Fortunately, I actually found another jerry can in that wreck I was just telling you about. So, we got a full jerry can, and we'll fill it up, and we'll get out of here. But that really wasn't very much gas. I'm a little bit upset about that. I've only made maybe two trips back and forth from uh, home to this island. Doesn't seem like much, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure that I paddle when I can. I've seen people in the comments ask why I do so much paddling. Well, that's the reason. Waste not, want not. So I'm gonna do some uh, choppery here, guys, because I wanted wood. Wood was one of the things I came back here for, among other items, because I left a lot of stuff here. So I'm just gonna do some chopping through the night, and I'll see you guys in the morning, and we'll head out, and we'll go do something fun and exciting and dramatic. And I'm thinking maybe do some hunting, some shark hunting. I know there's a new shark and a stingray that we haven't seen yet. I'd like to find them and see what we can uh, we, what we can do with them. So, but we'll do that in the sunlight. So hang tight. I'll be right back. <sighs> time is it? Six thirty in the morning. It's time to. <gasps> it's a plane. It's a rescue plane. Maybe. Hey, I'm down here. Hello. I'm the ex-con you're looking for down here. Let's put a glare right in his eyes. Yeah, if I just angle this just right off the sun, we can... Oh, fire. Fire. Yeah, I'm over here. Wait. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Ex-con. Rescue plane. Back to prison. Oh, never mind. I'm not the guy you're looking for. Let's put that away. <laughs> Whew, anyway, uh, hope you guys slept well. I slept like a baby here on Hans and Franz, that's for sure. Very comfortable night, and uh, now it is time to do some hunting. I'm hungry and thirsty, but that's natural hunger and thirst. It's not, hasn't been accelerated by toxins in my body, right? So, let's go do some hunting, shall we? I have collected a bunch of firewood, I made a fire spit, in the night, so now we just have to go out and get some food and toss it on there. And then we shall eat. Although I do have... Oh, I got two water bottles. Mm, we can at least hydrate for now. And let's drop those down here. I hope they don't spill. They do have caps on them. Um, I should probably just get some water rolling. Get a fire going. And I think I have to hold this in my hand, actually. Like that. There we go. Fill up. It's full. Ooh. Watch out. I don't want to get poisoned again. That's for sure. There's lots of things around here that can poison us. And I'm not too crazy about it. Oh, you know what? That's a full... It came fully equipped. 
with wood. I love it. So that'll burn for a bit. Should cook that up. Let's get rid of the lighter. And let's go grab a spear. I think I have it over here by Reg Jr. Let's go do some hunting. So yeah, we really need to be cautious out here hunting, guys. Not only are there sharks that'll eat us, but I'm actually more worried about the uh, about the, the sea urchins and the lionfish. It took so much of my energy and time to heal myself from that lionfish sting that I don't ever want to go through that again. And the things are everywhere, around Rex anyway. They may not be in the shallows, but uh, if you get, you just barely touch one and you, that's it. You, you, get, you get the poison and you're in trouble. And then you gotta go find medicine again. So I really wish that would change. You know, that, that lionfish poison should run its course after a couple of days because the effect is quite brutal. And in real life, it will run its course after a couple of days. You don't usually die from it. What is this? Who's that little fella? Some little bubble or something. But it will cause some pain and discomfort for some time and make you, you know, maybe more hungry because you'd be nauseous and won't be able to keep anything down, etc. However, in game terms, it's really annoying to have to just keep eating and drinking and hunting down food and water that's, uh, I mean, antibiotics that sometimes is not easy to find. So I'm just having a little, um, some appetizers here. Sardine appetizers. Hmm. <laughs> Not very filling, but it's better than nothing for now. Let's get the water off. The trick to this is, as people have said, is squat down and drop it. Very lovely indeed. And how are we doing for hydration? I'm fine, hydration-wise. Um, I don't have anything to cook on the fire. I should have been going after something. You know what? Let me bring that machete. So that way I can chop this... There's a shark out here. I see a shark out here. Hope it's not Danny. Danny's not such a bad guy. Sometimes he minds his own business. Alright, forget the sardines. Let's get something cooking on the Barbie. Yeah, so I think maybe, you know, maybe two or three days and all these illnesses can run their course and, and be done with it. A sea urchin as well. Oh, oh, a box. It's a hard case. It's in there. Binoculars. Okay, pick up the binoculars. Did I get them? Got him. I got him. Okay. Got those already. No big deal. Now, I, you know, maybe I haven't searched around this island completely. We should probably do that pretty soon. We need big game. I'm looking for a skate, uh, a stingray. There's a lionfish right there. Don't get close. Or a shark. And I'm pretty sure this is one of the new islands. They should, they should show up. In the meantime, I'll just snack on these little fellas. How are we doing? Wow, I'm actually getting filled up. But I'd like to get some big old shark meat. Over here on the island, at the very least. Well, guys, I haven't seen any sharks yet, or any big game. So, for right now, we're just going to get some Krabby Patties going on my fire. Because it's better than nothing, and I hate that I'm losing this uh, water. Uh, the firewood. There we go, I see a shark out there. Excellent! Let's, uh, let's toss down these few more sardines here for my appetizer. And there's the main course. Let's go get them. Is that Danny? That's not Danny. Nope, this is a different guy. Okay, good. Danny's back at home. I can kill you and not feel badly about it. Come here. I'm not so sure if the, uh, ooh. If the, um, if the spear works. Oh, you're bringing me down to the deep water, aren't you? Okay, I'm on, I'm on to you. I get it. I get it, I get it. It's not gonna happen. Here he comes. Who's mad? Huh! Huh! Hunting the big game. So who's the predator and who's the prey? Hmm? <laughs> Come here! Huh! I have tools! I'm human! Of course I'm the predator. Yeah! Ah! Okay. Never mind. You're still the predator. So show it in the water. <laughs> you win! Now I wish I could throw a spear at him. Krabby Patty's done. But hold on. I got this guy up against the ropes, pretty sure. Mmm. Got more wax at my machete. He's not too stupid, is he? You know, you're smarter than you look. Uh, why can't I sprint? Alright, I just want to make sure I don't step on any urchins. 
Now, I wish I could just find a reef shark, because they don't bite. <laughs> but hey, you know what? This is all part of the sport. Hunting the big game. Alright, stay right there, fella. I'm gonna eat a crab. Crabby patty. Quickly here. Mm. Get another one going. No, I didn't want to eat the... We just ate a raw one. Hold on. I don't like that. If you're not close to the fire, the game says, Oh, you want to eat? You want to eat that raw crab, do you? Okay, here you go. Down the hatch. Enjoy. Bon appetit. And the next thing you know, you're, you're tossing your cookies. You're tossing your crabbies. Your crabby patties. You're tossing your sardines, essentially. All right, where'd that shark go, little fella? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Talk to me. Where did he go? Tell me now. I'm gonna interrogate. Interrogate this little fella. Now, why am I... I feel weird. I hope I don't get sick because of that. I'm not gonna eat... Oh, stingray, guys! Woo! I'm not gonna eat any other fish other than... The, the sardines and the shark. The only ones I know that are okay to eat. I'm saving it right here because I don't trust this game. Oh, look who's back. No, I want the stingray. I don't want you anymore. Oh, he's coming right for me. Yikes. See that? That was intimidating, actually. Mm. Okay, spear. No worky. Mm. Got him. Ooh. He just... He teleported. It's a magical shark. <gasps> How am I supposed to fight a magical shark? That's impossible. You see him teleport? He's just gone. Did he die? Is his body here on the floor of the water? No. Nope. He's, he's literally just went poof, didn't he? Wow. We've got to come up with a name for a magical shark. All right, let's get a stingray then. Actually... I don't think I'm going to touch the Stingray because they have, well, stingers. <laughs> and I have a feeling if I touch the Stingray, I'm going to get stung. Yeah, and if I get stung, I'm going to have that stinking pussy postule disease all over my arm again. And it's nasty. And I'm not going through that anymore. So, is there a safe way? I wish there were a safe way to harvest Stingrays for food. I could kill him with my machete, because he's not going to attack me. And it's not technically touching him, but if I... Oh, what's this? But if I, uh, if I pick him up, I'm afraid of... If, even if I pick him up, I'll get sick, just like with the lionfish. I'm not taking any chances, but that's pretty cool. I like the stingrays. I just wish there were some way to harvest them safely. And maybe there is, and I'm just a chicken. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna snack on sardines. We need Houdini the shark back here. He just went poof, man. That was weird. Now I'm thirsty. All right. I'm going to go back on shore, look around for another shark. Maybe I can find a reef shark. And if I do, we'll come back. We'll hunt him down. Ah, to heck with it. For science. Let's stab a stingray and see what happens. <laughs> oh, I can hit him with a spear. That's nice. Good to know. I hope he doesn't get stuck in the end of the spear. Maybe I should hit him with a machete instead. Got him. I think that's just reserved. I probably shouldn't attack. Ooh! What kind of swing was that? It was like a backstab. Whoa! Whoa, it's a magical stingray. There it... What's up with this island? This is like the island of Lost. Oh, I bet my shark is down here too then. Because he teleported back towards shore. <laughs> there he is. Upside down and quite dead. Careful. Careful, this is how... Wow! This is how the crocodile hunter died, poor fella. He got stung by a stingray. He didn't die from the poison. I don't think the poison... Well, it could kill you, I guess, if you're allergic or in poor health. But I think, for the most part, it just makes you really sick. Just like the lionfish. Unless you get stabbed in a very uh, vital area. Which is what happened to uh, Mr. Steve Irwin. But this is not, not good, because I'm carrying it from the front and walking directly in to the spine, to the tail. Let me do this if I can just flip it. Flip it up. There we go. Flip it up. Put that knife away before you hurt somebody. Woo! Okay, careful. Careful. 
And can we chop him up into pieces? Let's see if we can... If we can uh, fillet this fish. Can't fillet him. Dang it. Unless I'm hitting him, it's not registering yet. It is early access, so things... Strange, stranger things have happened. Can I chop off the tail and lick it? Nope. Can't do that. Well then. I'm not sick. Nope. I don't have any pustules all over my arm, so that's good. I guess I didn't get stung. So that's a bonus, right? Um, but I can't chop him up. My fire's out. Maybe we can drape him on the fire. Careful. Easy does it. Come on. Just drag him on over here. Jump for the little Krabby Patties. Oh, look what you did. You're making a mess. Now, these guys are not cooked. Let me just move them over here. Put the uncooked foods. Um, eh, let me swallow you whole. Let me put the uncooked foods over here. And now I'm going to try to get... Oh. Well, I don't know if that crab is done yet. Uh, what time is it? It's 5 o'clock. It's about 5 o'clock. Um, we should just... Well, I guess the shark's not coming. I think that shark is dead. I'm going to go try to find his body. Let's cook this up. We've got plenty of wood here, so there's really no reason to try to be conservative. Whoa, watch out for that tail. I don't remember if I heard the ding on this thing, so... Let me get him off there and see. It's still a small male crab. And I think maybe I can drill. Oh, oh, you stabbed the stick. Um, I'm going to put the cook guy over here. If I can drape him over the fire. I know you can hold food on the fire. Which I think is a wonderful mechanic. But frankly, I think it's a waste of... Uh, it's just poor time management. That's why I always make this, this bit where you can hang the foods up on it. Because I don't want to sit here and hold something over the fire when I can be doing something else. But if I can drape the food over the fire like that, that ought to cook. And in the meantime, I'm going to go find my shark. The magical shark. <laughs> he went in over here, right? It was in the, kind of the beachy area. Yeah. Little Houdini. I stabbed him and he disappeared. He took off, but I think he's dead underwater somewhere. So let me go see if I can locate his, his carcass. Hang on. Wait a minute. Speaking of efficiency, <laughs> here I am being all Mr. Efficient, and I should probably put a crab on at the same time. There we go. Okay, now... Um, oh, now it's dark. Okay, you know what? Forget that. Well, hey, I wonder how this does underwater. Let's go see. Let's go see. I have a couple of torches I can use, too. But the problem is I don't really remember exactly where I... Where he teleported from me. He went poof. Oh, no way. You know what? No way. With sea urchins and lionfish out there, that's just a bad idea going out in the dark. So, it's it's too good to be healthy. <laughs> I like it the way it is right now. I'm not taking any more risks. No more risky behaviors. If I get sick, then I'll do some crazy stuff. But for right now, I'm feeling good. I guess this episode is now complete. What I might do is go and get a few more crabs over here. At least I'll have something to cook. Oh, there we go. That Krabby Patty is complete. And I might as well toss it back. Put another one on. Don't eat it raw. There we go. Don't miss the fire. And now I'll go do some hunting. Grab some Krabby Patties for the road. And then I think in the morning what we'll do is we'll head out. There's a crab nest over here. I still want to kill a shark. And get some shark meat. But we'll see. I'll just fill up on crabs and we'll try to eat that stingray if, if it gets cooked. And then... And then I want to head out... On a 60 bearing once again, continuing kind of a straight line. Which is... Ooh, can't see it really, can I? Uh, that way, there's an island over... Oh, there's an island right there, perfect. We'll go toward that island and look for some more wrecks before we head back home and do some more construction. And I want to build on my shelter a little bit, work on my shelter a little bit. So it doesn't say cooked stingray, so I have a feeling this doesn't work. Maybe it will in the future, but it's not at this time. Oh, stingray, cooked stingray? No. 
not a cooked stingray, but it's definitely a cooked crabby patty. Um, hold on. Make sure I got the right one. I feel like throwing up again. All right, guys. So this is what I'm going to do tonight. I'm just going to make some crabby patties, get all rested up for the morning, and I'll see you guys next time. All right. Have a nice night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.